I've just remembered that it's room shopping today. That's a day that happens every year in Queens where you can go and look around everybody else's room and choose your room for next year. Obviously, I don't need to do that today, but people might come to my room, so I'm frantically trying to tidy up. When you apply, you get to choose which building you want to be in. In Queens, you can put like first, second, maybe third choice. Nearly all of the freshers live in crypts. You don't get to choose which room you get, though. You just get to give a, a building preference. Most freshers in crypts, a few are in Docket, which is on this side of the river. Crips is, Crips is that building over there. Behind all the trees on the other side of the river. So my recommendation would just be to go there, because that's where everybody else is. But once you're already here, for second and third year, you can actually choose a specific room, rather than just a building. So everybody gets this day to go and have a look around everybody else's room. So third years are meant to be in their room between 1 and 2 o'clock so people can come and look and that's now. This room's actually great. K14 Erasmus. Perfect room. Second years tend to be in Fisher, which are where all of the shared sets are. But if you don't want to share a room, you can avoid it. You can get a room in Erasmus in second year if you want to. Plenty of people do that. Most people, nearly everybody shares a set though in Fisher. I did that last year. Go back and look at my vlogs. Then third years, most of them are in Erasmus. Um, some are in Docker. Docker just has a mixture of everyone. Um, some are in Friars, which is the building in next to this one, in between here and Docket. Docket is the one that had all the building work last year. And then there's Old Court as well, and there are a few rooms in there. A few rooms in Walnut Tree Court, the really old rooms. So you get a couple of third years dotted around there as well. The people who are at the top of the ballot. Everybody gets put in a, a big list. It's just like random, I think. <laughs> And the, they just go down the list and first person gets to choose first which room they want and etc. So if you're at the bottom of the list, unlucky, you might end up with a, a bad room. Or at least not your first choice of room. But a building like this or Crips, nearly every room is identical so you can't really go wrong too much. If you have any more questions about accommodation in Queens, leave a comment and I will answer them all. Only two people came to look at my room. It's a really nice room. More people should be interested in this one. But room shopping is over. I'm going to get back to this mobile and sensor systems work and my plan is to finish this within the next hour. There has been at least one spider crawling around my ceiling for a couple of days now. I think it might be time to put him outside. I think there are more. I'm sure it can't be that same spider I've seen so many times. I look out for more. I finished the supervision work. I'm not due until tomorrow, I'm proud of myself for doing it so early. <laughs> About 40 minutes before I go for dinner with Roger and Swibs. Maybe I'll edit some video. Or maybe I'll do my dissertation. I'll edit video. I've just been trying out Periscope, the streaming app. It, it's a pretty cool app, I think I'll try to use this more, it's really convenient. Uh, really easy just to start streaming to people from your phone. So maybe I can do like really quick Q&A things um, sometimes with you guys. I've been streaming myself editing the next vlog. Um, maybe not do that to a mass audience because then none of you will watch the vlog when I actually upload it if you've already seen it in a stream. But I've just stopped. Now I'm going to meet uh, Roger and Swibs to go to Spoons for dinner. Spoons again. I was only there two days ago. <laughs> oh, it's just yours. Where's mine? <laughs> she, she had two things as well. Who knows? Takes so long. Swips is nearly finished. Yeah. I'm still waiting for my hot dog. Swips has actually finished. Roger's well, got a whole four chips left, and I have you nothing have, yet. You can have your meal for tonight. <laughs> How did it take so long for them to do a hot dog? I'm sure they just microwaved them anyway. Just went to complain and they seemed to like mix my order up and I got to make a new one but gave me a, a free drink to say sorry. Finally got some food. It's like 12 inch hot dog. So I finally managed to eat. Not sure what I'm going to do now. But it is basically the end of the weekend. Dissertation deadline next week. And of course exams to revise for. There are people up there in the library. Sunday night, 20 past 10. 
people there revising. I should possibly revise as well tonight, although I'm more tempted to go and look at some more holidays. Woken up super late today and now I'm in a massive rush to try to get to the lecture that I wanted to go to. Lecture on topical issues, it starts in about 20 minutes and I'm obviously not there yet. Okay, let's go. So I'm here in eight and a half minutes, in time for the lecture. Feels good to start the day with exercise like this. I usually would not cycle that fast. Still working on my dissertation. I think content wise it might be done. I need to proofread the whole thing. I need to tidy some things up. I need to check like my algorithms, basically just check everything, make sure it's all okay. But I finished all these to-dos, all of the content is written, all of these suggestions from my director of studies have been um, changed and the same for the, the comments that my supervisor gave me. I want to get this printed tomorrow. So that means I need to get it done, perfect, um, either by tonight or by tomorrow morning. I do have a supervision awkwardly placed in the middle of the afternoon tomorrow, so maybe I'll print it on Wednesday instead, but nearly there, nearly done. I'm going to have dinner now because it's half past ten, it's, no, it's twenty to eleven actually. I haven't eaten yet, I wanted to get this finished and then treat myself to a McDonald's afterwards, but this is just, it's taken me so long. It's it's 20 to 11, so I'm just going to eat now anyway. Content is done, so I think that's a, a good excuse to take a break. I got some food. Dinner finally eaten. I'm going to proofread my whole dissertation before I go to bed now. I imagine that I'll come across mistakes and a few things that I've forgotten about that I need to do. So I'll stay up until it's done. Because tomorrow, I really want to get it printed. It's kind of depressing knowing that as soon as my dissertation is handed in, I just need to start revising for exams. I can't just like celebrate. But on the other hand, exams will be finished in just over three weeks. That's really scary actually. I think it is done. I'm scared to say it's done because it's probably not. I'm going to proofread it tomorrow. I've skimmed through it all quickly, but I want to print it out and go through it on paper without any distractions and make sure it's all perfect. I'll do that tomorrow. Half past two now, even later night than yesterday. Let's see what I've got on tomorrow. One lecture in the lab, then a supervision here at two o'clock. Then I'm going to go back to the lab to get this printed. Maybe I'll skip the lecture so I don't have to travel back and forward so much, which gives me until 2 o'clock tomorrow to finish this. Oh, that means I need to get up early-ish. But right, I'll, I'll force myself out of bed and make do with not enough sleep. Alternatively, I can print it on Wednesday. The deadline is not until Friday. I just really want to get it done. I'll go to bed now, though, because it's stupidly late. Thanks for watching.